Hello, my name's Mark Smith. I'm a fellow here at Clare College in Cambridge and I'm the college's director of studies in theology. So that means if you come to Clare to take theology, I'll be the person you meet up with several times a term to look over your course of study, to choose papers, to allocate supervisors and generally to be uh, a shepherd for you through your three years of the theology tripos. So what I thought I'd do just for a few minutes now is to try and cover three key questions you might have. Firstly, why take theology? Why spend three years of your time doing that? Secondly, why do you so here in Cambridge? And then thirdly, why do you so here in Clare? So let me try and uh, tackle each of those briefly in turn. Firstly, why theology? Why is this a intellectually rich and stimulating way to spend three years of your life? Well, there's the beginnings of an answer, I hope, in, in Clare itself. If you go into the chapel, you go to the East End, there's a table there. And on the table, there's a Latin inscription. It says, Nobiscum Deus, God with us. And in a sense, opened up there, you've got the three key things that animate so much of theological inquiry. God, who is God? What's he like? How do we know about him? Us, who are we in the light of that divine truth? We as human beings, we as part of a wider created order. And then the link between the two, God with us. How does the divine relate to the created? How does God relate to humanity? As you can imagine, those kinds of questions have been richly stimulating throughout millennia of uh, human civilization. And so one of the wonderful things about taking theology as a, as a subject, as a discipline, is that it's a kind of big tent in which all kinds of traditions of inquiry can come together and each can illuminate the other. So, for example, you may want to think about history. You may want to think about how religious traditions, theological ideas have been shaped by the people and the historical circumstances in which um, they've taken root. You may want to think about philosophy. You may be interested in, in those abstract questions about how God relates to humans, how we can think about that rationally, reasonably with wisdom. You may be fascinated by original languages, getting stuck into Hebrew or to Greek or to uh, Arabic and think about how those texts can be translated now, how we can understand scriptural texts and bring them into the modern day. You may be interested in contemporary questions around sociology, culture, um, how religious traditions speak to the present day, how uh, different religious traditions can interact and can uh, enlighten one another. You may be interested in, in anthropology or soci sociology and the question of how human societies work, particularly those with a, a religious impulse or a religious dimension. Uh, you may be interested in literature and in how theological ideas have shaped uh, great works of art. You may be interested in science and how modern day questions in the scientific arena can both pose questions and challenges, but also um, opportunities for the theological discipline. So it's wonderful to think you can kind of bring all those things together under one discipline and feel that you're constantly interacting with lots of different and fruitful uh, traditions of thought. It goes without saying as well that there's no uh, hidden agendas in applying for theology. You don't have to be religious yourself. You don't have to have a particular faith or not to have a faith. The key thing is, is a fascination with theology as a discipline. In the same way, we're very open about saying there are no particular A-level choices that we would expect you to have there uh, on, your, uh, on your application form that you should be doing at the moment. So a lot of people take religious studies when they think about applying to theology at Cambridge, but by no means all. We have people who are interested in history or English uh, or geography or philosophy or sociology. And it's often just that there'll be a seed of something in your A-level choices. And you'll think, well, I want to explore that further. There's something about theology here. There's something theological going on, something to do with um, questions around the divine that you kind of want to want to explore further. So at interview, we're really looking for intellectual um, ability, but uh, intellectual kind of curiosity as well, uh, being able to think through questions theologically. Uh, I should say, actually, having mentioned philosophy, that's a really good example because we often find, uh, anecdotally, as it were, here in Cambridge, that it's philosophical questions. You know, so you, if you take philosophy as nailable, those kinds of questions you might be confronting about the existence of God or the, the role of suffering or evil, those are the kinds of questions that 
uh, are best addressed actually within the theology tripos at Cambridge. And um, those kind of philosophical kind of questions around philosophy of religion are, are catered for very well and very creatively within the theology faculty. So I just suggest you think about what you're doing at the moment, what you're studying. Are there things in there which are kind of um, uh, give you an itch you want to scratch in terms of questions of theology? Uh, do you have an intellectual curiosity for how those questions might shape both uh, traditional and contemporary society? So why theology? Well, I think it's a tremendously enriching and exciting subject with a huge amount of options to explore in your three years here. I've actually asked one of our current Clare students, Katie, to say a little bit more about how she's found that range of options uh, here at Clare. Hi, my name's Katie and I'm a third year theology student at Clare. Um, I really enjoy my time studying theology. Uh, for me, what's been particularly good is the variety of things on offer. So I've looked at things as diverse as Buddhist philosophy, um, Islamic feminist movements, uh, exorcism in Zambian Pentecostal Christianity, uh, ancient Jewish Koreans, like there are so many different directions that you can take the study of religion um, in this course based on what you're interested in, uh, which I think is a real strength of it. Um, and I've loved being part of Clare uh, as a college. It's, it's really friendly. It's um, a really great community, especially to study a small subject like theology in. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend. So as Katie says there, there's a tremendous variety of things that you can take under the, the, the big tent of theology. It makes for a tremendously invigorating and exciting course of study. Uh, and I guess it, it increases not just your, your religious literacy, your theological literacy, looking further ahead when you leave Cambridge. It also allows your skills of analysis, of complex texts, complex arguments. It allows you to form nuanced positions based on the evidence. Um, it allows you, hopefully, ultimately, to understand yourself and your place within the world better. So I commend theology to you as a wonderful subject to study that tests you, as it were, from all kinds of angles, but also enriches you in doing so. Secondly, why, why study theology here at Cambridge? Why is Cambridge a good place to explore these kinds of questions? Well, theology at Cambridge has been consistently ranked uh, in the UK surveys as the top place, the number one ranked place to study theology in the UK. We have a, a world-class faculty of academics uh, delivering high quality teaching and lecturing. Uh, we also score exceptionally highly in, in student satisfaction surveys. So it's not just that there are clever and impressive people at the faculty, but that they teach well and they, they as it were, feed the students well. Students leave um, feeling excited um, about their study. See, one of the lovely things about studying theology here in Cambridge is that it's a it's a small subject. It's not something that's huge and kind of scarily anonymizing when you join it. It's also, though, I think about something to do with the nature of the faculty. It's a beautiful faculty building, a, a incredibly well stocked library for, across all the range of papers that are covered in Tripos. But you've also got a sense of uh, of a theology family. Actually, I mean, theology is a small subject. Uh, comparatively speaking, in the University of Cambridge, about 50 students in a year uh, come through our doors. And so that means that you can really get to know your year group well. So we tend to have coffee breaks between lectures. Um, all of the lectures are pretty close to one another on, on the kind of um, the bottom floor of the faculty. So it, it feels like you're, you're getting to know um, a, a really lovely group of people as you come to study theology here. I also want to say something about the the breadth of the course you can take here. So I'll put up on screen an example of the kinds of things that you can take in your first year. You'll see there firstly that we ask all students to take a language paper in their first year, cl classical language paper, ancient language paper. And that's because one of the key things to getting to grips with theology is understanding how sacred texts, how scriptural texts were written in their original language. Now, I know that some people can feel a bit intimidated by that, but we tend to find that lots of students start approaching this with, with a degree of trepidation, but end up loving languages and actually taking them on in second year and third year as well. It also means actually that our, our language teaching at the faculty is consistently one of its strongest points. We have superb language teachers. 
uh, and it means that whether you want to get to grips with Hebrew in order to read the Old Testament or Greek to get to read the New Testament or Quranic Arabic if you want to read the Quran, uh, you have got superb teachers who teach you in small classes and really get you to grips with, um, with the language, particularly if you've never really studied uh, any kind of classical language before. So I commend that to you actually as a really exciting part of your first year course. And then in addition to the language paper, there's a huge amount of choice in your first year. So we ask that you do one of the uh, biblical papers that might be the Old Testament paper on King David and the origins uh, of the nation of Israel or on the New Testament and looking at Jesus and the gospel documents. Beyond that, you've then got a huge vista of things to, to choose from. You've got questions around historical Christianity, Christianity and the transformation of culture. That's sometimes looking at Christianity in the early centuries of the church, sometimes uh, looking at it in the Reformation period. There's a, the question of God paper, which introduces you to all kinds of questions around who God is, what he's like, how he interacts with his creation. Also, uh, comparative questions. So understanding different contemporary religious traditions, world religions, and then also philosophical and ethical papers. So you can see that you've got a tremendous flexibility around papers. And more than that, in your second and third years, you can become even more specialised. So again, let me show you some examples uh, on the slides here. In your second year, you can continue language if, if you want to, but you don't have to. You can drop languages if you'd prefer. And then you can choose from this great range of papers in different religious traditions, different theological disciplines, really kind of building on the things that you most enjoyed in your first year. And that's true to an even greater degree then in your third year. One of the lovely things here is that often by your third year, you'll be taking papers that are really at the, the cutting edge of the scholarship of, of the academics at the faculty. And so you can really kind of be, be with them at the cutting edge of what's being explored uh, in these different disciplines. So for example, I teach in early church history. So if you take some of the second or third year papers exploring what's called patristics, the study of the early church fathers, um, then that's something that I would lecture in and supervise you for. Worth saying as well, of course, that in the Cambridge system, you have, in a sense, the best of both worlds because you have both the high quality lectures, but you also then have supervisions, which we tend to have as one-to-one -one supervisions with an expert in the field. So you'd go to your lectures and then you'd have supervisions where you'd be set essays by a scholar and they would then discuss the essay with you in a one-to-one -one supervision. And it's, it's a wonderful way of learning because you've got, as it were, a, a devoted hour a week where you can have your questions answered, explore issues that might be out of your essay, and you can feel really well equipped as you look towards the exams. So let me put up on screen an example of a, of a first year student's timetable. So you can see here, you've got your language classes, you've got the, the lectures, got perhaps you know, a dozen hours of, uh, of contact time a week. So um, it's much less than school. The aim is to have these periods of real teaching and focus, but around that, a chance for you to order your, your university experience, your theology experience, according to the way that you work best. So lots of time conducting reading, writing your essays, lots of time too exploring all the other things that Cambridge can offer you in terms of sports and societies and, and the social life. One last thing to say on this front is that there's now a huge amount of useful material on the Divinity Faculty website. If you go to divinity.cam.ac.uk, you can find all kinds of videos from lecturers, material from recent theology graduates saying how they've been enriched by their theological study at Cambridge, and a huge amount of material as well on what it's like to be a student in theology here at the university. So why study theology? Why study theology at Cambridge? Thirdly and finally, let me just say a few words about why taking theology at Clare. Um, of course, I'm biased. I think Clare is, is the best college. It's a wonderful college to, to live in, to work in. I think it's got particular strengths in theology. So Clare has always had a historically strengths in theology. We've had um, not just great theologians um, as fellows, but we've also maintained, compared to many other colleges, a large theological community made up of undergraduates and postgraduate students in theology. So we tend to find that it's a wonderful group of people for getting to know as you um, have your time in theology here at Clare. 
So we tend to provide opportunities for discussion groups, for socials. You'll get to know your, uh, your group of uh, fellow theologians in the college really well. And we find it, it's a tremendously friendly um, theological community. In terms of the fellows, we've got myself uh, and also Professor Douglas Headley. I teach uh, early church history in the faculty and Professor Headley teaches papers in philosophy and ethics. We try and link up first and second year students particularly. So when you start, you'll get to know the other first years in theology at Clare, but you'll also have the chance to kind of um, have college parents, as it were, in the subject, people who are in their second year and you can um, help to guide you into uh, the study of theology. Many students think one of the great reasons for coming to Clare is that we are very close to the Faculty of Theology. So if you are um, keen on, on as short a walk as possible to the faculty, we are but a stone's throw away. So to summarise, uh, I think that theology is a great subject to take at university. I think that Cambridge is the best place in the country to do it. And I think Clare is the best college to study it at. Um, I'd be delighted to answer all kinds of other questions that you might have that I haven't addressed. So do please feel free to drop me a line. Uh, you can find me through the Clare College website. Feel free to email me if you want to ask particular questions about the theology course and also particularly about theology here at Clare. Uh, and thank you so much for listening. Thank you.